The Alamask ventilated system is a BBA approved facade solution for the structural timber and light steel frame sector. It is a fully engineered innovative system solution that offers an alternative approach to the traditional build. First, install the starter track at the line of the DPC and also window and door heads fixed at 300mm centres, ensuring line and level. Fit the insect mesh within the base track by stapling it to the substrate. This will ensure no insects can enter the ventilated cavity. The Alamask ventilated system fire barrier is installed as per requirement of building regulations. Treated timber battens are then installed as 600mm centres across the façade as per specification, again ensuring line and level. A damp proof membrane is then stapled onto the face of the timber battens. This ensures that no moisture is absorbed by the Alamask render carrier board. Insect mesh is also installed at soffit level and any ventilated openings within the system. The ventilation profile is now installed at eaves level and below any window openings, ensuring that full ventilation is achieved. An Alamask clip-on profile is fitted on top of the starter track prior to the installation of the Alamask render carrier board. The render carrier board is then measured and cut using either a score and snap method or with an electric saw. It is then installed across the facade working to batten centres and fixed with Alamask approved fixings as per specification. A 3 to 4 mm gap must be allowed between all adjacent boards. L-shaped cuts are required around building openings with a minimum of 200 mm. Edge protection strips are required on edges of all boards at any openings within the system. Continue fixing Alamask render carrier boards at 225mm centres in height, across the façade to the specified timber batten width. Measure, cut and install Alamask render carrier boards around window reveal areas, applying the edge protection profile to the edge of the board in contact with the window, then seal with Alamask low modular silicon sealant. Measure and cut corner beads at building corners and all openings ready for application of Alimask base coat. Apply the base coat evenly across the whole area of the render carrier board using a 10 by 12 mm notch trowel. Cut and apply glass fibre reinforcement scrim to the entire surface of the base coat. While still wet, then bed in ST corner beads. Overlap joints by a minimum of 75mm.
Reinforcement scrim and stress patches at 250 by 500 millimeters are then installed at all building opening corners. The surface is closed with a smoothing trowel, ensuring that a 5mm coat is achieved. If required, apply additional slurry coat to level. Additional detailing beads can be installed at desired locations, separating render finishes. Once the Alimask base coat is fully cured, apply ST Primer by roller or brush to the entire surface of the facade with the required colour to match the silicon top coat. Now that the ST Primer has dried, you can add additional features such as acrylic brick slip soldier courses underneath windows by masking of the desired locations, then applying acrylic brick slip adhesive by notch trowel and bedding in the acrylic slips. Once secure and in place, smooth out the brick joints with a wet detailing brush, ensuring that the bricks are encapsulated within the adhesive. Mix Alamask Silkalit with up to 250 millilitres of water per drum and apply to the surface with a stainless steel trowel at the required grain size thickness. The Silkalit is then textured with the plastic float in a circular motion, ensuring an even texture is achieved. If desired, add additional detailing to the base with acrylic brick slips installed using acrylic brick slip adhesive. The full range of finishes available to use with the Alumask ventilated system include silicon render, acrylic brick slips, aggregate dash, the Alumask ventilated system, engineered solution, certified performance.